Mr. Straker. Miss Holland. Yes, sir. I ordered this file transferred to the morgue weeks ago. Why is it still here? Well, sir, it isn't certain. You know as well as I do that space personnel are presumed dead 48 hours after failure to re-enter. But it just... Miss Holland. Craig Collins was one of my closest friends. We were astronauts together. But we have enough to worry about without trying to keep the dead alive. Now, please, just get it out of here. Let's get this straight before he gets here. When it comes to Sid's brains, Craig knows more than anybody. So as of now, he's on the project. All I'm saying is that Craig Collins and I... Look, your personal feelings for him are your own problem. Just tell me who's in charge. No, overall, you are. But when it comes to Sid's engineering, Craig is God, okay? Straker. Colonel Collins to see you, sir. Send him right in. Craig. Ah, hi, Ed. Good to see you. It's good to see you, too. Mind, as good to see anybody after eight weeks of jungle cats. <laughs> John? Craig. Oh, come on, come on. What happened? Well, I don't know. I sort of lost uh, consciousness on re-entry. And then I came to, and I was floating down over the sea. We went smash into the sea, and I got out and swam ashore before she sank. Tell your um, boffins that their survival course really works. Uh, Colonel Gray, uh, thank you. See you later. Well, you heard what happened, Craig. I had no choice. Yeah. I would have done exactly the same. Sure. Hello, Master. I am uh, just off to Moon Base to get things started. What? I thought we'd go together tomorrow. There's a great deal to be done here. Yes, well, I thought I'd be more use up there, and besides, I have, uh, shall we say, a little unfinished business to attend to. So if you'll excuse me, I'll see you later. more than a little barbecue to fry me, you know. Oh, dear, I'm sorry. I do hope I haven't cracked a rib. I just don't know what came over me. Well, Foster, nice to see you again. I'm uh, glad that you've been keeping an eye on things for me while I've been away. Well, I can't say I know what you mean. Uh, come on, of course you do. Great. Now, how about, how about getting this old jungle cat a cup of coffee now that he has returned? Hmm? All right. If it's all right with you, Foster. Yeah. See you later. 
is still making with moon dust, I see. I wanted to say that there's um, no reason to feel guilty about anything. I don't feel guilty, Craig. I cried a little when I thought you were dead. After a while, I stopped crying. People do. Yes, they do. And we weren't exactly Romeo and Juliet. Virginia, uh, Ginny, now you, you make it, uh, I mean, you make it very hard for a man. Uh, you know, all he wants to say is uh, no hard feelings. I'm sorry, if that's what you're really trying to say. And what else in the world would I do? How was the jungle? Well, I tell you one thing, there was no one there who looked like you. You know, I used to lie there at night and I used to look up at the old moon and I'd say to myself, you know something? Old Ginny's up there. I did think about you. Did you? You mean there's still a chance for this singed old astronaut? I never said there wasn't. It's just that I resent you looking upon me as your property. Now you know, I never do that. see me, Master. What's this request for a two-man mission? Well, fixing Sid is a two-man job. I need a partner. I want Foster. Why Foster? Well, he's the only man available with the necessary know-how. Also, he's got the basic astro training. I know that he's maybe a little bit rusty, but I reckon I can lick him into shape in time. Is that the only reason? Well, why else would I want him? All right, you've got him. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir, please, sir. You ran a computer check on my relationship with Craig a long time ago. I know. And the readout said that it would not affect my efficiency. And two weeks ago, we ran one on you and Foster, and it said the same thing. So why the Inquisition? Yesterday, we ran one on you and Craig and Foster. The computer seemed to think a triangle was the nastiest emotional shape there is. Well, you can tell the computer to relax. There is no triangle. Oh? Who got dropped? Craig. May I ask why? That is my business. Now, come on, old man, you can do better than that. Now, come on. Come on, come on. Now, 15! Oxygen! 16! Altitude 17! Booster! 1014! Cooling system! 33! Digital cloud! 943. Retro rockets. Five. Helium ratio. 507. Abort. Bomb. 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 Sorry. Oh, now, sorry just not good enough, old man. Sorry can kill now when we're up there together. I don't want to be sorry. I want you to be right. 
Now let's try that again, all right? All right. Come on. Come on. 200. Manual control. Is Ginny in there, darling? Yes, she is. My lord, how about a little game of chess? You're a glutton for punishment, aren't you? You've never won a game with me yet. Uh, how about a uh, little bet? You really want to throw your money away? Shall we say um, 50? That's what you want. You take the white. You ready? you have your revenge tomorrow? Where do you want us tomorrow? I'll, um, I'll take my revenge when we get back here. Anything you like. I thought we'd been through all this yesterday. You told me you dropped Collins. You didn't tell me you hated him. Who says I hate him? Virginia, I was watching your face when he came in. People do move away from each other sometimes, you know? Look, Collins is on a vital mission. If there's... If there's anything you know about him, his attitude, state of mind, anything, it's your duty to tell me. He's different. And you're trying to tell me that just because he beat you in a game of chess, he's a psychotic. Oh, come on, John. What are you, a sore loser? No, no, it's not just that. It's the way he's been riding Foster. He's training Foster for a tough mission, not for a game of ping pong. Foster has to shape up. And Virginia Lake? Virginia Lake is a girl who fell out of love. Look, I know he's a friend of yours, but all I'm saying is that what he went through in that jungle... Dr. Adams, full clearance. Dr. Jackson, full clearance. Dr. Bluden, full clearance. Now, all those reports have been computerized. Full clearance. Computers aren't God. Or are you, John? I just have an instinct about him. Well, look, just now you implied that my friendship for Craig could warp my judgment. Just make sure that your personal feelings don't bend yours. <laughs> Lights. 
blast off for SIDS in five days. You going to be ready? Well, I'm just about finished down here. Of course, I've got one or two things still to do at Moonbase. We go back there tomorrow. All right. Excuse me, can you direct me to D stage? Yes, of course. It's over there. Take the second turning on the right. Oh, thanks. Mr. Gray, isn't it? That's right, Sir Esmond. Yes, I never forget a voice. And who... Uh, come along, Charles. Yes, sir. Can't have you standing about all day long. There's uh, something I've forgotten to do. I'll catch up with you later. Very well, Master. Sir Esmond! Excuse me! Excuse me, Sir Esmond, but I couldn't help noticing. Something seemed to upset you back there. It was nothing. Oh. It was just one of those inexplicable moments. Like walking over a grave. Well... If you're quite sure, there's nothing I can do. Ah, uh, that's very kind. Uh, how about that game of chess? No, thanks. I'm tired. I went to turn in. All right, see you tomorrow, Master.
me, Straker. Where's Commander Straker? I'm afraid he isn't in the building at the moment, sir. I can put out a trace for him if it's urgent. Now just be careful, John. The personal feelings don't bend yours. Shall I put out a trace for him, sir? No. No, don't bother. Central computers, please. Okay, let's take the control panel. Terminals four and five. Power supply. Eleven, twelve. Calling system. Twenty-one and twenty-two. They stop at twenty. You know something, old man? I think you're gonna make it. I know I'm gonna make it, old man. You didn't invent efficiency. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. We're getting uptight, are we? Now I know just the thing for that, old man. <laughs> Nothing like heaving a few weights around for swelling out the tension. After you've lifted a couple of hundred, it makes it even you begin to look human. Well, why don't we try uh, 225? <coughs> All right. That's my lot. I'm not pushing for the bandiest astronaut title. There's a rib gone, the right tibia's cracked. He'll be strapped up for a fortnight. No. Oh. What the hell did you think you were doing? It was a mistake. The mission goes in two days' time and you knock out the only man qualified to fly it with you? Some mistake. You know, there is another man equipped to fly the mission with me. Oh, who would that be? Ed Straker. I mean, he and I put Sid out there in the first place. You can't go up there with a man who's unstable. He's only unstable in your mind. Look, what do you want me to do? Cancel the mission? Leave Earth undefended? Train somebody else to go with you. There isn't time. Collins is right. I'll go. I said I'll go. Two nights ago, he tried to kill me. He what? He blew the pressure in my sleep sphere. That incident was reported in the Daily Report as a mechanical failure. And why didn't you tell me immediately it happened? Because I can't be completely certain. Do you have one piece of tangible evidence? No, not yet. All right. My top priority is to get Sid back into commission. I have no alternative and... That's what I'm going to do. You'll have to look after things while I'm gone. I've doubled the alert readiness on moon base, and I suggest you do the same thing here. Well, the weather at the Cape is clear. The countdown looks good. I uh, hope they've got those transducers on us for me. Yes, Colonel Gray's taking care of it. Say, Craig, what is it with you and him? Oh, I don't know. It's sort of, you know, chemical. Just one of those things. I just wanted to check and make sure there's nothing we've overlooked in Collins' clearance tests. No. 
He passed all the regulation tests perfectly. All the regulation tests? Yes. Yeah. Are there any others? Officially, no. But? I've been pursuing a line of research. Nothing official. Just an idea of my own. I call this an isolator. What does it do? It cuts you off from all outside influences. Sound, heat, light, microwaves, even cosmic rays. I wanted to study the effect on the brain of a total absence of stimuli. What has this got to do with Collins? One of the things I do is record the brain's electrical patterns, both inside and outside this cabinet. Well? Usually, there's very little difference. Doctor, will you please get to the point? All right. No. That's the kind of button I usually get. That's one of my colleagues. That's the button outside the isolator. That's the button inside. Now, I'm going to show you Collins. That's Collins outside the isolator. That's Collins inside. What's your conclusion? It's too early to have one. I've got uh, central computers on it now. Have you told anyone else about this? There's nothing to tell. It's a purely unofficial experiment. When do you expect your computer analysis? Probably late tonight. Call me as soon as you get it. If I'm not at home, I'll be at Collins' apartment. Please enter. I'm afraid I can't spare you much time. Ed and I are flying off to the Cape in an hour. Did you know we still haven't located your ship? The one you crashed in? Really? Are you sure the map reference you gave us was the right one? Yeah, I was pretty groggy at the time. Could have been one mile, two miles out of the way. Do you remember anything more about what happened? No, no, mind is, you know, very much of a blank still. Don't you find that a bit worrying? No. No. I'm still the same fella, you know. Are you, Craig? Now, what's that supposed to mean? Virginia Lake thinks you've changed. Ah, oh, Virginia's just... And you give blind men the creeps. Are you out of your mind? And you tried to kill me. Now, what the devil are you talking about? Jackson did a test on you. Yeah, well, he does lots of tests. One in particular, where he put you in a cabinet. Yes? What about it? When you were inside that cabinet, you were isolated from all communication of any kind, even radio waves. Really? Inside that cabinet, your brain pattern stopped. You were inert, a nothing, a body without a will. Now, look here, I know that you have never liked me. I think the aliens snatched you out there. I think they burned out the personality centers of your brain and then programmed you so that they could control you with radio waves. I think they sent you back here as a kind of guided missile to kill Ed Straker. Now, I mean, if that is really the case, oh, Master, then you're wasting your time, aren't you? I mean, you can't reason with a robot. <laughs>
Speaking. The computer confirms Collins has had surgery. I'll be right over. Here we go again, old man. Not so much of the old, if you don't mind. After you. Thank you. things. Yes, so do I. We have retracted on one and two. Mr. Collins? Mr. Collins? Mr. Collins? Will you confirm your link is correct? A link, correct. <laughs> and lift off minus one, two, zero. Closing inlet valves. One board computer exciting 109. We are counting. We have go on all internal systems at minus five and zero. Sometimes Mr. Collins does not tell me he is not coming back, but always he leaves me the key over the door. Silly thing to do, that. You know, it's a fast place for a <laughs> But he likes the place left clean and tight. Houston, this is SID 2 reporting. All systems go. How long now? Seven hours, 19 minutes, 27 seconds. Is that anything intelligible yet? No, Doctor. No identification on him. Ah, there she is. There's old Sid. Right on the old button. Get 
the doctor, nurse. Go for our walkies, old man. Take it easy. You've had a nasty concussion. If you didn't have a concrete skull, you wouldn't be with us now. Get me a telephone. Nice. Yes. Don't stop his nurse. Look, let's take it easy. You can do all that later. Get Must me a dead. bloody telephone! Listen, Craig, you can beat this thing. They burned out the personality centers of your brain. Craig, listen to me. Listen. We can help you. To control you by radio waves. They may have your mind, Craig, but they can never get your soul. Craig, listen to me. Craig! Commander. Come in, Commander Straker. Are you receiving me? Commander, come in, please. Come in, Commander Straker. Are you receiving me? Come in. 
Are you receiving me? Are you receiving me? Receiving. Are you all right? Yes. Thank God. What about Collins? He's... He's out of it. He could have killed you. Yes. He could have killed me.